Good evening, I'm Ron Majors. And I'm Carol Marine. It was like a scene from a bad movie. Tonight, police sorting through details of a suburban shootout and high-speed chase has left one person dead and another behind bars. Uh, Channel 5's Marianne Ahern is live in Hanover Park with the latest, Marianne. Ron and Carol, he was called the bearded bandit, the man who eluded police for several months committing bank robberies in the northern suburbs. Tonight, believe, they believe that man lived behind me. They have been searching his home all night. The wild story began just a half mile from here about noon. I'm very surprised to find it. I heard it on the news driving home, and when the FBI came to my door about 6.15 and interviewed us uh, and asked them about it, then the pieces all started to fall together. Dozens of federal agents milled around outside this Hanover Park townhouse tonight waiting to execute a search warrant at Jeffrey and Jill Erickson's home. The chain of events right out of a Bonnie and Clyde movie started in this parking lot. That's where the FBI and local police arrested 33-year-old Jeffrey Erickson. He's a suspect in six bank robberies and allegedly stole 10 cars. His wife, 27-year-old Jill Erickson, sped away when she saw her husband arrested, taking police on a wild 11-mile chase through the northern suburbs. She shot back at them as they fired at her until our van crashed here. We had uh, the individuals under surveillance when we attempted to arrest them. Uh, we did arrest Mr. Erickson, and uh, Mrs. Erickson fled the scene in a van. Since it happened just after 12, most of the people in the neighborhood were at work or at school. But later, the FBI returned to find out if anyone saw anything. She wound up hitting the sign over there. I saw a blue unmarked car come around the corner. He stopped. I saw him fire four or five times. I got down on the ground because I was so scared. Jill Erickson died tonight at Humana Hospital. Jeffrey Erickson is now in FBI custody. This is part of a, a series of uh, bank robberies. We're not too sure how many they uh, were involved in. As I said, this is an ongoing investigation. Jeffrey Erickson did work as a police officer himself in Hoffman Estates for only one year. He was a trainee and was forced to resign. Hoffman Estates police say he never did handle any bank robberies there, but he did know that he how to handle how the police handled different alarms. Erickson is also considered a suspect in the wounding of a Palatine police officer last month. That police officer was shot in a traffic stop, and the gunman got away. The FBI is still at the scene. They tell me that there is a safe inside that garage, six feet high, and they are waiting to go through that safe. Live in Hanover Park, Marianne Ahern, Channel 5 News. All right, thanks, Marianne. What authorities are trying to figure out now is whether Jeff Erickson was involved in any of the 25 suburban bank uh, jobs that were pulled in the Chicago area over the past six years. Last month, after a holdup in Streamwood, police released a sketch of a man believed to be involved in 16 of the crimes, described as a white male, six feet three, thin, brown hair. Then in November, witnesses described a different man believed responsible for a bank job in Lake Forest. Then there was this picture from a bank camera in Arlington Heights, a man wanted for a hold up there. Then police say that man may have donned a fake beard and shot a Palatine police officer. All that's now under investigation. On Chicago's far southeast side, an elaborate rescue effort saved two men trapped on an icy lake, Lake Wolf, that is, in the south suburbs. They're amphibious to avoid arrest. The man who appears to have made a living breaking the law once worked here enforcing it. In the picture logs of Hoffman Estates police officers, there is a photo of Jeff Erickson, a former cop now accused of being a bank robber. It's something that uh, none of us want, and uh, we're not uh, very happy about that situation. I think the only thing we are happy about is that we uh, got rid of him and we did. Chief Donald Cundiff says he hired Erickson to be a police officer in 1986. At that time, Erickson said he had previously been an auxiliary officer with the Rosemont Police Department, and he listed four years' experience in the Marines. But Chief Cundiff says after 13 months on the job, it was clear Erickson was not cut out to be a cop. Yes, we reviewed him and, and decided that he was not meeting our standards of, uh, of uh, knowledge and everything in the police department, so we, we told him he was going to be terminated, and he uh, requested to resign, and we allowed him to. Chief Cundiff never dreamed this clean-cut officer would allegedly don a mask, a beard, and use a weapon to rob banks. Cundiff says in a meeting with other Northwest Suburban police chiefs, he had talked about how strange it was that no banks in Hoffman Estates were targets of the bearded bandit. The robberies all happened in towns near and around his community. But Cundiff never dreamed the robber may have avoided Hoffman Estates 
because he might have feared one of his own former fellow officers would recognize him. Chief Kunda says Erickson never made it past the probationary period of his job on the Hoffman Estates Police Force. He said no one had any contact with Erickson after his termination or heard anything about him until this morning. The FBI called to inform the chief that they would be arresting Erickson for robbery after several months of surveillance. Bill and Linda. Thanks, Elizabeth.